Hi class, this is Puan Anita here. Today's lesson is about potentiometer and we're going to emphasize on the working principle of this potentiometer. A potentiometer is an instrument for measuring voltage or potential difference by comparison of an unknown voltage with a known reference voltage. And if you see the word potentiometer, potential is referring to voltage, meter is referring to length, and the basic working principle of a potential meter is voltage is directly proportional to its length. Potential meter for the working uh, principle of potential meter. Let's look at our Oxford Fajar reference book in page 118. All right. Now, what is a potential meter is class? Potential meter is used to measure potential difference accurately. Okay, we use a potential meter to measure potential difference accurately. Actually, now what is this is an example of a potential meter, yeah. So I'm going to just like uh, explain it in a figure like this. Alright, so this is a figure 15.17. 15.17 yeah? figures 15.17 okay a potential meter is consist of a uniform wire of length l in series with a driver cell d okay in which l is usually 100 cm or is one meter so if you do your experiment uh, you will notice that this uniform wire is actually uh, is a uh, is uh, nailed it onto a ruler there's a ruler there okay and then the wire is nailed it at one end of the ruler to another end of the ruler and you will see this in our experiment uh, one of our experiment uh, assignment or uh, experiment uh, assignment lah. okay all right so in this okay now this one is called as a driver cell d driver cell d okay and then uh, this is one end a and this is one end b this is a wire usually it can be a constant nichrome or whichever material it can be all right so uh, this length is l and then it's connected in series with d then this part here you see this part here is called as a primary circuit this is called as a primary circuit okay it is called as a primary circuit okay and then this is another circuit here this is another end here which is uh, fixed to a terminal x the terminal x is positive because it is fixed to a positive of the driver cell so this one will be a higher potential okay higher potential and this one is to the negative, so this one will be a negative potential. Or we say it's a lower potential, okay? Negative or lower potential, okay? And then, alright? Now, from here, this terminal Y is fixed to a galvanometer. Okay, now, what is galvanometer class? Okay, galvanometer is an instrument for detecting and measuring small electric current. Its function is to detect or measure small electric current. Okay, and then it's a very sensitive instrument for measuring a current now how does it work it works by deflecting a pointer whether to the left or to the right in response to an electric current okay flowing through a coil so that's how galvanometer works all right so and then this one this galvanometer is fixed to a slider this is a slider so how does this work is we will slide the slider left or right okay now, the working principle of a galvanometer 
uh, sorry, the working principle of a potentiometer will be if now, if I have a, uh, if I have a component or if I have a equipment or maybe a voltage that I need to measure, I can fix it at this terminal here. Okay, maybe a lamp or maybe a, uh, anything that I can fix it here, maybe an EMF, maybe a resistor. If I want to measure the voltage, I can fix it here okay at this terminal x and y so now we want to measure is we want to measure the voltage of this terminal which is v x y okay all right so what do we do first class we fix to this terminal x and terminal y so what do we do first is we slide the slider to the left and to the right so when we slide and slide we look at the galvanometer so the galvanometer will point to the left or to the right. But the moment the galvanometer points to zero, we stop the slider. Okay? So when the galvanometer points to zero, what does it mean? Okay? Galvanometer points to zero. Okay? Galvanometer points to zero. What does it mean? That means no current flow. No current flow through the galvanometer. Okay, concept number two. What does it mean? The mean is voltage. The mean blood. The meaning is the voltage between. Okay, the voltage between X and Y is balanced. by the voltage between a s okay so when the galvanometer points to zero that means the voltage between x and y which is the voltage here okay the voltage here is balanced between the voltage a and s Okay, so the voltage here is equal to the voltage here. Now, one of those working principle of um, working principle of uh, potential meter is voltage is directly proportional to length. That is the basic working principle for potential meter. So, in this case, v x y is directly proportional to. Uh, Sorry, V X Y is balanced by V A S. That means they are same. So therefore, I can say V X Y is directly proportional to this particular length, which is L. Okay, which is L. All right, this is L, yeah. Okay, which is L. So I get the first equation. Okay, so I'm going to repeat back again. So what do I do now? I want to measure the potential of Vxy. So I move the slider left to right and then I stop at an instant when the galvanometer is point to the, point to the value of 0. That means the voltage here is balanced by the voltage here. That means the voltage here is equal to the voltage here. Therefore, Vxy is directly proportional to this balance length which is from here to here okay all right so that is number one then number two is v a b is directly proportional to v a b is the voltage from a to b is directly proportional to a length which is l so directly proportional to l so this is number two so v x y Okay, now it's maths, yeah, is equals to L over capital L times with V A B. So this is the equation. But you are not supposed to memorize the equation class. What you are supposed to do is you are supposed to uh, remember the formula. Uh, sorry, remember the relationship between potential and length in a potential meter. And by using this, okay, by using this, I can get two uh, relationships. And by that, solving by maths, I can get an equation. Okay, alright, so you're not supposed to memorize the formula here. 
you just have to practice how to use the relationship which is this okay all right so that is how is the working principle of a potential meter all right thank you class